The ROG Strix G15 and the HP Pavilion 15 laptops have been two of the best options in the entry-level budget segment laptops. Both of them offer great performance to handle your everyday tasks as well as gaming smoothly, but the best one among these two is still a question. So in this video, we will compare these devices and find the best option among these two laptops. So, starting up, the display in the HP Pavilion comes with 15.6-inch Full HD screen, with 144Hz refresh rate, 67% sRGB color gamut, and 250 nits average brightness level. On the other side, the ROG Strix also brings in quite similar display, with Full HD screen, 144Hz refresh rate, with 62.5% sRGB coverage, and 250 nits average brightness level. Both the displays are good for gaming with higher refresh rates, but we found nothing great with the colors and display experience in either of the displays, but on paper, the HP Pavilion 15 seemed to be better with the color reproduction and viewing angles. Next, talking about the memory and storage, both the laptops offer you 8GB DDR4 RAM memory with 512GB SSD storage capacity. Next, talking about the CPU performance, the HP Pavilion comes with the Ryzen 5 4600H processor, which is a 6-core chip, with a base clock speed of 3 GHz and up to 4 GHz boost clock speeds. This chip was put under different benchmark tests, based on which it produced 16.8 points as its overall benchmark score. The ROG Strix G15 on the other hand comes with the Ryzen 7 4800H chip, which is a 8-core chip with 2.9 GHz base clock and up to 4.2 GHz boost clock speeds. This chip produced 21.8 points as its overall benchmark score, based on different benchmark tests. So, on comparison, the Ryzen 7 4800H and the ROG Strix G15 managed to produce 30% better performance compared to the 4600H chip in the HP Pavilion, especially with the multi-core workloads. Moving on to the GPU performance, the Strix G15 here packs the GTX 1650 graphic card with 4GB VRAM, which produced 55.5 FPS on average when tested with different games at different 1080p setting. On the other hand, the HP Pavilion packing the GTX 1650 Ti with 4GB VRAM managed to produce 62 FPS on average when tested with different games at similar settings and conditions. So on comparison, the 1650 Ti in the HP Pavilion manages to provide up to 18% performance boost compared to GTX 1650 in the ROG Strix mentioned. Next, talking about the battery backup, the HP Pavilion packs a 52.5 watt hour battery, which lasts 4 to 5 hours of normal usage and up to 1 hour of gaming. While the ROG Strix with a 56 watt hour battery lasted up to 6 hours of normal use and up to 1.5 hour of gaming. So you can get an advantage of more hours of unplugged usage in the ROG Strix G15 with a bigger battery. Speaking of thermals, the Strix G15 CPU and GPU reaches a maximum temperature up to 85 degrees, with the surface maintaining a optimal temperature level. Whereas the maximum temperatures in the HP Pavilion reached up to 93 degrees, with the surface getting little warm under peak performance. So you are good with thermals in both the devices, with no major heating or thermal throttling issues, but on comparison, the Strix G15 is a more cooler under load. Next, talking about the build quality and ports availability, the ROG Strix G15 is ahead with the build quality, scoring 9 additional points compared to the HP Pavilion in our build quality test, based on different aspects of laptop construction. Both the laptops offer decent port selection, with one USB Type-C port, three USB Type-A port, and one HDMI port available in both the laptops, where you get an SD card reader in the HP Pavilion, while absent in the ROG Strix G15. So overall, based on the comparison, the ROG Strix G15 with a better CPU performance, better battery life and better thermals, is a good option for those who prefer a good multi-core driven CPU performance, along with a decent gaming experience. Whereas, the HP Pavilion with the better GPU performance boost is a good option for those who want the best gaming performance out of their device. Thank you, please do check the laptop links in the description, and if you ended up liking the video, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe the channel.